Hey guys, welcome to the video where today I'm going to be making my slime collection part 15. You heard that right? I V. So it's been a minute since I posted. It's about to be a month because it's about to be February 19 and the last time I posted was January 19. So I guess it's my first video of February and while I'm speaking it's Valentine's Day so happy Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be honest, I really have no excuse as to why I haven't been posting. Like, it's just me being lazy because I just it's too much work to, to just get the video. Like to arrange the setting and everything. But I have been wanting to do them but I've just been too lazy and then one day I was just like, well yesterday I was just like, I'm just getting my camera, I'm, just, I'm making this video. And here are these. So some disclaimers before starting. Is if you see some of the slimes that you've seen before, then I'm sorry guys, I did not actually take the time to go back to my video and check which slimes I have and have not put. So if you see one again, then that's good. Also link below for the playlist from all of these slime collections. Now let's get on with the video. So let's get started. This first one is a really really glossy one it came out so beautiful on camera and as you can see it has green glitters and it is purple and it is super nice and clicky um sadly though it was a little bit sticky as you can see here it's really sticky um and i didn't really have activator at hand i had a little bit but it was really little and it was really um not a strong activator because it was just the remaining of one and as you can see super clicky and sorry for the little Cringe right there because I know it's a lot of people's pet peeve, but I try to make it look satisfying and it's honestly so satisfying. It's so glossy and amazing, and yeah, I love it. So this next one is a really pretty jelly cube slime, it is already crushed up, I crushed up all the cubes and as you guys can see it's still really stretchy, it's really nice, I really like the texture a lot, it feels like a sponge actually, it feels really nice and it doesn't have that many that amazing pokes but it just looks really, it reminds you of like Ariel or the Little Mermaid, whichever one you want to call it. So this next slime is just a clear, well I guess you can say semi-clear because it's no longer clear. But this is, this was a crystal clear slime but after time this is what happens with a clear slime. It just looks grey and really dirty but that's pretty much just how they get. Um, they have, this slime is really thick, I love it, it's just so thick, I just, it's amazing. Um, and it has little things that I made. I did melt beads which actually don't do that. I did it on this little oven thingy. It's really small and it was um there was smoke coming out of it. Um I got this idea from Kalina Garcia but I don't know what I did wrong. I put it on parchment paper. I don't know which is the beads I used. As you can see they're actually melted um but don't do it. It almost burned the house. Um that was just a little story I wanted to tell you guys. So this next slime is a really nice, beautiful milk type of slime. It is supposed to be thick, but here it is underactivated. As you guys can definitely tell. I did add a little bit of activator, as I told you guys. I did have a little bit of activator. There was not much left, and it wasn't even that strong. So yeah, I just did to fix a little bit. This slime is really nice and glossy. And when activated, it's actually really thick because I do use my formula for thick slimes. And it just turns out amazing. And yeah, I love it. This next slime is just a fluffy slime. It is deflated already and as you can see I did that activator to this one. It is really sticky but it smells really good. It smells like kind of like cherry blossom because I did use shaving gel which smells really good. And that's a little bit pink um, because the shaving gel was pink. 
And this one just reminds you of like marshmallows. Alright, so this next one is, I actually have a tutorial for it, which if I didn't say this already, all the slimes that have, that are here that have a tutorial for them or like that are in, in a video, I'll link them down below as well, so the links for this will be down below. But this one is really dry already because if you guys didn't know, if you put them in a container that's like really big um, and still has air trapped in it, they will dry because the air gets trapped and then it just dries out with the air, I guess. So that's why when people say in an airtight container, they mean it because then this happens and it's not that crunch anymore. So that's why the clip is kind of short. I just, it just looks like Rice Krispies, honestly. But this is a chewed up bubblegum slime. This next slime is a super thick, the thickest slime I've ever made slime. So this is obviously made with glue all and okay, it is overactivated. So the new, the slimes I'm about to show you guys will be a little bit overactivated because I overactivated them because they melted and thinking they would go back and melt. It's been over a month, maybe two months already and it hasn't melted and it's still really like, what is it? It's still really hard because it's winter and my floor is freezing and I keep them on the floor, the containers. And there is no ASMR to these, as you guys can just see, I'm just squishing it. Um, I'm just hoping for it to melt because it hasn't melted at all. But that's because it's winter and it's pretty much just freezing here every day and I just can't wait for it to be gone. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's it. Um, I forgot to say, it was also really glossy, but I now since it's really overactivated, it's not that glossy, okay. Moving on to this slime, again it is overactivated, it hasn't melted, which this one usually melts, but it doesn't melt because it's freezing. Um, anyways, um, it is a actually a blue slime, but it looks semi-green, because I did add in some light green, I know they're iridescent glitters, but they are extra fine glitters, so as you can see all the real things shining, it is that. And also the paint is metal metallic and again it is more like a putty at right now because it overactivated it thinking you know maybe just in case they melt and this happened. So as you guys can see I think I'm going to show you the glitters. I don't know if I do. Never mind. Moving on. So this next slime it is Again, overactivated, but it is amazing and it's a really nice thick slime. This one is also really thick because story behind this slime and another slime that will come is I use an extremely severely strong activator to this, and I also I have a live video of me making slime with it, which I'll link down below. The the slime isn't here um because I just don't know where it is anymore. <laughs> um, but this one is actually thick like even when it melts it's thick so it is a nice purple slime and it has it is metallic and it has these nice jumbo blue glitters and it's amazing i love it this one um also melted but again i overactivated it so that's why it's overactivated but i just love the color it's really nice and amazing and the glitters are my favorite literally this next time is so beautiful. It is the same exact color as the last one you guys just saw like two, two seconds ago. But it is a opaque slime. And it's just amazing. I love it. The texture is so nice. And I have this slime on my Slime Struggles video. And it looks exactly the same. Maybe because I just haven't played with it. Um, but it's amazing. I don't know how it got its amazing bubble pops. Um, it's a little bit underactivated in this video, but it's still amazing. It's amazing, and I don't know again where the bubble, bubble. <laughs> where the bubble pops came from, but they're amazing, and it's super stretchy. I love this recipe. Again, this recipe I use on pretty much every one of my crun crunchy slimes. Um, but when it's just like this, it's amazing and it's my glossy slime recipe. It's so nice 
And if you guys want a recipe, you know, I can give it to you guys. This next slime is really sad because I love this cloud slime. But it is dried out already and it's the same reason because I just, you know, I've run out of containers and since the slime is really small, the container I have, I put it on a big one and it just has so much air which like tapping it which made the slime dry out so it sadly will not drizzle anymore that's why the clip is really really short and i made this back in august and it just reminds me of when school started um and it's just kind of dead now sadly so this next one is another one which took me a pain to make this one and the purple one i showed you guys with the jumbo glitters these were the ones that I made with the extremely strong activator and this one is the thickest clear slime I've ever made in my life and it is because of that reason as well it has it's so thick um it's just it's insanely thick even when it was really melted it was thick like it makes no sense um and again really play like it is not the same one I've showed you guys before because I, I do have another red metallic slime but the this one is a lighter type of red. It is made with paint. And it's just really nice. I love it. So this next one is... I call this Hero Milk. It's another one of those thick slimes. And I will not tell you guys this recipe. Um, If you guys want it, you, you can just put the timestamp and then comment below and I'll definitely make the recipe. Even if one, if just one person comments, I'll make the recipe. But if not, then no. But yeah, this slime is super thick and I'm pretty sure this isn't the recipe that Predicate Science uses. But it's just amazingly thick and it's glossy and it's, it's amazing. I love it. And again... It easily be overactivated, but even when it's not um, overactivated, it is insanely thick. So this next time, I don't know if I've showed you or not. Pretty sure not, but because I did make this line back in around in the summer, like in July or august maybe but it's amazing this is my favorite butter slime you guys um it's my favorite because it's the only one that hasn't dry dry out on me i made so many butter slimes and they've all dried out and just became like really rubbery and that just happens because of the clay sadly but this is made with daiso clay and it's a secret recipe which i kind of just came up with on the spot but it's just so nice and it used to be really airy. It is kind of dying down a little bit sadly. Because that's just always going to happen. But it's nice. I love the color. And it's just so good. And really creamy. So you guys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. And subscribe. I know I'm going to have to cut you guys right here. But part 16 will be coming out really soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one.